Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is just a quick little video between some project shares of some dyes, mostly Christmas and one Halloween because it came in with my last little batch of dyes. One is from Andy's store. It's this set right here. There's actually two sets in here, but it's got the little like poinsettias um, with like embossing detail. Mine did not emboss, so you must have to run it through one of those creasing pads, which I did not do, but it makes the cutest like the smaller ones makes the cutest little flower. And then I put some of that diamond glitter dust and then little gold seed beads as the center. Very, very cute. As you can see, I used this size right here, but look at, they come in even tinier. And then I used it on my next little die. Uh, the next one is from DIY Arpen Store on Alley, and it is this Santa like little coffee mug or it's like a hot chocolate mug. So you got your little marshmallows embossed up there. I did a like a bead thing for his nose instead. Used some gel marker for his eyes and I added like a Hobby Lobby candy cane. Very cute little Santa mug. And I stuck one of these flowers on right here with the little flat back jemmy. So this is the smaller, the smaller size of that flower set. So this does not come with this guy. As you can see, it came with a snowflake but I thought a flower would look super cute right there. So that's that guy. Next is this one. This is a little gingerbread sleeping on his bed, his deathbed, literally, he's going in the oven. He's on a baking sheet. It's got the little blanket uh, curled over embossing detail. I did add a little bow from my stash and a pearl. The little cheeks are hearts, very cute little gingerbread guy. And he's super tiny and cute. Love, love that dye. And then, Next is this one right here, Gingerbread Face. And this is her right here. I did the circles in pink, the nose. I was trying to, I think I might eventually cave and buy some markers. Um, they don't have to be whatever those fancy expensive ones are called, but something to color because I only have one pink <laughs> and it's like a, like a highlighter color pink. But I added again, some of that diamond glass at the top. I added a little bow. Um, the eyelashes turned down. So she's like, you know, winking very cute little set. And here's what I'm talking about. So this dye right here, um, it definitely needs like to color the face like a tan color, you know, cause it, otherwise everything just gets washed out and his whole face and his beard is white. So I try to layer some of the pieces, but you definitely need like the crayons and stuff cause this marker was not cutting it. But that would be a cute, very cute little dye if you know how to color. Next is this one. And this is a sweater mug cup. Look how cute. It's got like the sweater detail, like for the koozie, little um, embossed heart. And then I cut it out in like a white glitter, chunky glitter paper, and then a little straw. If you guys know where I can find chunky glitter paper that is white with no like holographic, no iridescent shimmer, no pink, no green, no, no other hue but white. Um, can you leave a link down below because this used to be sold at Hobby Lobby and they don't carry it anymore. And I literally have scraps left of it. So I'm super sad. And somebody shared that Amazon had one and then I could not find her DMs and I never got to like look at it or buy it. So if you know, holla. <laughs> this one, which is a little gingerbread mug set right here. So I just colored the eyes cause I didn't want to die cut the eyes. <laughs> talk about lazy uh, so I just did black I should probably add some white to his eyes because he is looking kind of creepy okay a little bit better okay so I just added some white whites to the eye because it looks better like that and again my chunky glitter paper and the little candy cane again has bossing detail but it didn't show up on mine because you probably have to run a folder through it so that's that guy, it's the Halloween one. This one's a little funky. It's the ghost, and then the ghost is in front of the moon with antlers and then a flower headband. I put the ghost in front of the moon, like a little off the side. I used the bat still and the spider and the eyes with marker, and he's cute. I do love, absolutely love the shape of this, and I love the embossing detail. Gives it, you know, that drapery curtain look. So that is all of my examples. I know Christmas, like, oh my gosh. Um, I had some plans for Halloween, like crafting wise, and I just, I don't, it's already, I'm already like giving up because it's already going to be September and I haven't even started it. And it's like, yeah, I don't think it's going to work. All right. Bye guys. I will catch you on the next crafty video.